Hey guys, it's me, I'm back, and uh, today I'm just making a video because I haven't uh, made one in a while. And uh, it's winter here, so as I said, I can't go fishing in my last couple videos. So, uh, um, today I'm just going to be making a video on my soft plastics. And, uh, yeah, the reason I haven't got out to you guys in a long time is uh, because... I was on vacation in Florida for a week and my plan was to make a little bit of a video in Florida but I didn't get I didn't have I didn't take my camera with me to video and my mom had her camera but I didn't bring my extra SD card so I didn't make a video so I just started uh, I decided I'd make this video on how I store my soft plastics from fishing so I I did this today actually. I uh, I used to store my soft plastics in this little uh, box or bag. It's just got a whole bunch of ziplocs, and it's just like a bag. But today I decided that that thing was always bulging out whenever I used it. So what I did was I took a whole bunch of the large ziploc bags. And I took just a black shirt marker. I just got them all stored up here. Let's see if I can find a small one. Here's a small one. You guys might think this is kind of funny because it says minnows, but whatever. So what I did was I took the bag and uh, I just took my black shirt marker, wrote in the white, and then. I uh, just put all my minnows in here. I got some Berkeley Gulp and Power Bait. It's just a really large Ziploc bag. That's all it is. So, so that's how I uh, I came up with that today because I just they don't take up as much space as that bag, and I can put more uh, plastics in these. So. I actually came up with a uh, uh, thing this morning where I have some like, oh, they're probably like four or probably five inch swim bait, uh, swim baits. Let's see if I can find them. Uh, swim baits. I only have one pack of these. I don't use swim baits at all. It's a... Uh, Five inch, yeah, it's a five inch uh, swim bait. It's a smelt. And what I came up was with uh, using this for a trailer on a spinner bait for pike. I came up with that this morning, and it actually looks pretty good. I'll show you what these look like. Oh, I just broke the package. Whatever. A little bit of tape can fix that up. So that's what it looks like. Black back. And it's got like a silver side and it's got eyes. And it actually, I think it's going to look pretty good in the water. It's, uh, it's got the, uh, I don't know, I forget what these tails are called. It's, it's the tails that that gives a lot of action out. That's what it is. I'm gonna fix this bag up after. And uh, yeah, so I came up with that this morning because I'm fine I'm not getting bites on my spinner baits like I want to. So yeah, I just decided Try that out. I have swim bait, or uh, here I'll just get them out and show you how many packages I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are, I have them all labeled. So, we've got swim baits. 
just a whole bunch of random soft plastics that I get a little fishing derbies. Nothing. I don't use randoms at all, really. Um, leeches. I use leeches a lot. Berkeley Gulp and uh, Power Bait leeches. Very good for bass. Minnows. Also very good for bass. That's what I use for bass, too. Uh, just a whole bunch of wacky rig worms. Um, I do do some wacky rigging. And this bag is trailers, Texas rigging, a little bit of wacky rig in there too. It's uh, just a lot of, I, I do a lot of soft plastic fishing actually. Throwing, uh, I just got into whack, or, uh, Texas rigs this year. And it actually is a pretty effective way to fish for bass at least. I haven't fished anything else with it, but. Um, I think I'm going to get some swim bait hooks and actually try those sw that swim bait out and just see what it, kind of action it gives out on a, like a sw awesome swim bait hook or something like that. Just got my jig heads there. Hold that open. That's how I hold it open. Random. So yeah, I put these in uh, certain ways because I put the most... Mostly used goes to the top, and whatever I don't use very often goes to the bottom, or if I don't use it at all, like random. So random goes in first. Uh, and then swim baits. What I do is I just fold it and put it in so I can still read the label when I am flipping through them. So I got those uh, random. Swim baits. Then I'll put in uh, minnows because I don't use them as much as I use leeches. I'm gonna put in leeches because I don't use them as much as easy as I used to. Uh, and then I'll put wacky rake. And then I'll put my uh, trailers, Texas rigs, and wacky rigs. All fits in there. I'm planning on getting into a little bit more of uh, a little bit more about um, Texas rigs, wacky rigs, and trailers. I last year's the first year I ever tried using trailers because I kind of I just got into uh, fishing lures last year, hardcore, and I throw. A lot of crank baits and I throw spinner baits a lot. I don't throw buzz baits very much. Um, actually, I got to tell you guys something about. I just got to tell you guys about what kind of deal I got. I came up with when I was uh, at a dollar store actually fishing. So, this is just a Bass Pro Box that came with that bag. And, this is this just has only terminal tackle. But, I found that these are a lot of money. And when you need to buy a bunch of them, and you're, uh, you don't have a job to make money, and you just get money from like Christmas and that, it's not very easy. So, so uh, what I did is actually, I went into the uh, building section at a dollar store and I got these Duramax Pro hardware dry, or, uh, dividers. They work just as good, they're 3600 size. Actually they might be a wee bit smaller but not much. Just means they fit in the bag better. So. Yeah, so I got I picked up two of these just to try them out in that bag and they work, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. I don't I don't have any more space in my bag for them, but <laughs> but uh I'm just gonna use them for storing stuff just around here for uh for winter and that. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about that because 
that's a lot better of a deal than buying. It's a lot better of a deal than buying a whole bunch of uh, the Plano boxes are more what I use. That one just came with. I have got four of those with my bag. That's why I showed it. So yeah, so. Um, so guys, I hope you guys like this video. This, uh, I'm probably gonna make a. Uh, probably going to make a video, a how-to playlist. Because I'm probably going to make a lot more how-tos in the future because of because of uh, running in the winter time. And that goes for like, this year we had a very nice winter. There was no snow really at all. I'll show you guys that in a second. Uh, when I went on vacation, actually it all melted and then we came home and it came all back. So, But yeah, I... I, um, yeah, I think that uh, should end this video. So, subscribe for more content. And, um, I'm, I'm going to put uh, my dad's channel in the description. And make sure you guys subscribe. And yeah, it's uh, a little slow here. Sorry. I, um, I'm not too sure what to talk about. So, but anyways, Zach Wall is out.